Hello and welcome back to another episode of Spider-Man Remastered. So last time we took down the Shocker, and uh, now we have a side mission that's Looks like unlocked. I got some free time. Yep. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ, you're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Yes. And we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider. -Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough. I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Well, I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Yeah. Spider-Man, I need help. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. That's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that picture... That angle. Life, you can get it straight on. Give me the plans and it won't. Very nice. Got it. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch.
Another victim? Or an accomplice? I need a photo. No purchase with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. That's what I'm... the photo he fell in line perfect shot it always was a sucker boss will be there let's see the plans that's what i'm talking about I gotta catch my train i don't want to keep the boss with me it's gonna be our biggest score yet hell yeah how many people are in on this i've got to follow him Where's he getting off? Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of high school movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. End of the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. schedule on the monitor. I put out hires on the whiteboard. Mark their positions on the map. He's practically a kid. My brother's kid. I can't trust him. Anyway, it's done. He's already picking up our safe. All right. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. What? Wait, how did I do? What the heck happened? Why did I suddenly lose all of my health? I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That black...
blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Cool. Move it, spider jerk. careful with my adoring public okay well we have completed that side mission when we come back next time we will go do the mask anyway thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time